In Ohio, on the top of the hill situated in the quaint town of Granville, Ohio, sits the charming liberal arts college of Denison University. At this university, students excel in their liberal arts studies, but with liberal arts comes little focus. Students are offered numerous career paths to follow, yet some students fail to conform to a pre-designed path and choose to create their own. Denison University's entrepreneurial leadership programs allow for students to explore their unique skills and develop their inner strengths. Wow. My name is Meredith Atwood and I'm a rising senior. I'm an environmental studies and biology double major and I'm very interested in the environment. I'm the president of Green Team and I'm involved in DCGA and a bunch of other activities on campus. Well, I am Zach uh, Coney Bear. I am a rising senior. I am a fine arts major, Bachelor of Fine Arts, with a minor in art history. That's what I'm studying. I'm Jamie Maniscalco. Um, I am a senior as well as a rising senior. Um, and I'm a psychology major with a neuroscience concentration. And um, I'm interested in uh, music and general sports and graduating next year. My name is Gina Cicero. I uh, graduated from Denison. I was a psychology major. Um, and I was in Psychi, which is the Denison um, Psychology Honor Society. If I had a million dollars. Well, I really would like to start a Christmas tree collecting business because there's so many wasted Christmas trees. You cut them down, you waste them, and then nobody does anything with them. So, what I would like to do is buy a big dump truck and go around and collect all the Christmas trees that people are going to be done with after Christmas and put them in this truck and shred them up and create a mulch. I would reinvest it into the art club uh, and actually facilitate a spring arts festival for to have North Quad and uh, build a stage at the end of the teardrop and then use Chamberlain as like the senior gallery space and then have artwork everywhere on campus in every building and do it like a gallery hop. And it would probably be in correlation with Culture Jam. Uh, use the money for... Uh, I would start a uh, beer delivery company. Uh, I know it's been established at other schools and I think that it's a really good idea not only to uh, make a lot of money on the weekends, but also driving down to certified and other gas stations looking for beer late at night. Um, I know it's been very profitable at other universities. Uh, and, uh, I guess if I had to open up my own business and um, I got some money to do so, I should probably do something in the restaurant industry. I think that's really interesting and that's hard to do. Um, it's pretty ambitious and you would require a lot of money for it. I think that would be really fun. It would be, you know, outside the box, a person that likes to be, you know, in a suit and in, in a cubicle. So I'd probably open up a restaurant or a bakery or something along those lines. As it sits now, I think the visual arts are kind of underutilized. Uh, we have, I mean, the, in the fine arts, you have mostly students going to the music and theater performances just because it's, it's entertainment that it's easy to, like, you know, I mean, age, it's easy to enjoy. But I don't really have a lot of business-oriented skills. I'm great networking, but I think uh, there's a lot to, I could be developed into, so. Lesson students, I could be a great idea. Um, because people come to a liberal arts college uh, not knowing exactly what they want to do. They don't have um, like a career track college um, schedule set up. And so I think that supporting, um, you know, uh, learning and understanding in the field of like entrepreneurship would be a really good idea uh, in order to get some of, the more, uh, some of the students who maybe don't understand it as much or would be interested but don't have the means to uh, start their own businesses to, uh, to get into it and have the skills they need. Actually, that's only because I've had contact with Dr. Chris Bella, who runs it, um, but I know a lot of my friends have no idea what I'm talking about when I reference it. Given my background with organizational studies and the fact that I think it's a great program um, 
entrepreneurial endeavor, kind of an offshoot of that. And I think it's extremely important, especially for liberal arts students to take part in. Um, and it really does make us well-rounded individuals. You have that academic setting, but then there's also the real world that you're going to face once you graduate. And I really believe that it's extremely important to know how to handle yourself in a business situation, how to understand finances and how things actually work so that once you are put in that situation post-graduation, which I'm in now, you know how to deal with it and how to handle um, what's going to be coming forward. Well, I'd buy you a cake. If I had a million dollars, if I had a buy you a house, I would buy you a house. And